So for my second interaction, I went to an event at my church, Ada Bible, back home in Grand Rapids. Um, I actually found out about this event through a friend from high school who is Hispanic. I went with her and her family. Um, before going to this event, I was extremely nervous, very anxious because doing something like that is very much outside of my comfort zone. I think I felt a little bit more secure because I was with a friend that I knew from high school and I knew that she would kind of help me understand what was going on and keep me included and um, a part of it, which made me a little bit less nervous for the experience, but going into it before, I was just super nervous because I knew that I was a cultural outsider and I knew that I didn't necessarily fit in with them. So that made me feel like, oh gosh, should I go? Should I not go? Okay, I have to do this because it's for a project. But um, it ended up being okay. So going into a little bit more depth about what this Hispanic church um, environment looked like, um, it was actually at my church. So um, we have a big service up in the front and then back in the back called what we call the hub which is another space to have services was the hispanic service the hub is a lot more smaller a lot more intimate and you get to know people a lot better back in the hub um when we first got there we walked in went back to the hub and there were tables set up so i was like wait what's going on like i didn't expect this i expected chairs just like up in the front ser service but instead there were tables and they all ate dinner before having actual church. So they got there a little bit early and all had a dinner and talked. And I thought that that was really cool. Um, some of them talked um, majority in Spanish and then some were mixed. And I picked up on pieces, bits and pieces. But um, after that, they set out the chairs and a um, Hispanic guitarist came out and he played all the songs in Spanish. I thought it was really cool because um, I really like the music at church. So even though I wasn't really able to understand every word that was being say said, I kind of understood. And then a pastor came up and speak in Spanish, um, which was kind of difficult for me to understand but I was able to follow along because of the visuals that we use at Ada Bible Church, which we do in the front um, service too, where we use visuals to go along with the services. And that kind of helped me understand what was going on a little bit better. As I kind of explained when going more into depth about what this event or church service was, um, I didn't really talk much about how I felt during it. So when I got there, I felt a little intimidated because I was like, wow, I didn't realize that it was this small and this intimate. But after I got there, I realized that everyone was super nice and super welcoming. Even though I was a cultural outsider, they still understood that I was doing a project and they were like, we would love for you to learn more about our service and what we do and how it's a little bit different than the regular service. So. I started to feel more and more comfortable as it went along and my friend was there to help translate or help me understand what was going on which was really really great so i started to progress and not feeling as anxious throughout the entire thing <laughs> so what i noticed from my friend or partner per se um when going to this event is she felt very at home very comfortable um this event was so um or this service was so small there was only about 15 to 20 people actually there so they all knew each other and they all created kind of like this tight-knit little church family which was really really cool to see because they all seemed so happy to go and see each other on Sundays and just worship God and um, my friend she really really enjoyed that too and she used to go to youth group with me. That's how we actually um, started to become friends in high school because we went to youth group. So it's really cool to be able to see her be able to go to something 
like a Hispanic service because our church actually just started offering that and it's really cool that they offer that now because they didn't have that before so it's really cool when thinking about how to connect my partner or relate her to what we're learning in class the first thing that immediately came to my mind was the developmental model of intercultural sensitivity sensitivity um this really stuck with me because I realized that there were so many people that were at so many different levels in that church service. There are people who saw me as a cultural outsider and didn't necessarily welcome me because of my background and how it's different from theirs and they thought I shouldn't be there. But then there are other people who were just super welcoming and understood my culture and I understood theirs. Um, for my partner, I found that she's definitely at the integration level because she really understands both cultures. She's grown up in both of them predominantly. Whereas for me, I've only grown up in a white household where I've had, where I'm very lucky to have had privilege, etc. So I would tend to fall more on the acceptance side because I still accept these cultures and understand that everyone has something that they value, etc. But that I'm not necessarily at that integration point yet because I felt nervous and I didn't feel completely connected, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. I think what I really got out of this whole experience and my small insight into culture would be that it's amazing how connected all of these cultures actually are when they get together and it can be such a small knit community but they're still gonna have their space to value their culture which was just really really cool that I thought it was really cool that my church provided this Hispanic service and I went back and actually watched my church service online because you can actually do that at Agate Bible Church they put all of their services online to watch so I went back and watched it and it was really cool how I saw connections between the two because of the visuals I saw in this one and then the words and visuals that I saw in the other one so it was just really really cool and I really enjoyed the experience of getting to tag along with my friend Gracie from high school and get to see her again and um, just enjoy this experience that I ha got to do with her and her family.